Dr. Stephen Warren knows the secret to who we are is in our genes. Part detective, part explorer, his search is to save our children. I do medical research. I'm a human geneticist and uh, we're interested in variation in the genome that can influence uh, health and disease. And specifically what we've worked on for many years is a form of autism called Fragile X syndrome where we uh, identified the gene responsible for that disorder back in 1991 and we've been working on that since then. And these are children and adults with learning disability, developmental delay, and you know in the past they might have been called mentally retarded. The disorder went kind of unrecognized for many years because these uh, children don't look very different than normal kids. Parents notice first they have concerns about uh, delay in uh, speaking language. So usually around age three is when they first start uh, seeking uh, help or telling their pediatrician that something may be wrong. So back in 1991, uh, we discovered the gene responsible for Fragile X syndrome. And so in the last almost 20 years now, we've understood uh, quite a bit about this, uh, this syndrome, way down to the, what's going on in the nerve cells. And that's led to some approaches now for therapeutics, drugs that may be beneficial. If one's looking to intervene in a genetic disease, uh, something drug-based is the most logical approach. I get a lot of calls from physicians all around the world when they have an unusual case. They don't quite know from reading the literature what to make of it, what to tell the parents. So they'll call me to get my opinion. Families a lot of times want to know just what is new, what looks like promising research on the horizon. And then I think it just gives them hope that there are people working on the disorder that uh, may eventually lead to some therapeutic uh, benefit. And so the work goes on. We're still, there's a lot we still don't fully understand, but you know, we're now more directed at uh, translational research who are trying to take what we've learned in the last two decades and really think deeply about how can we come up with uh, small molecules that might form a drug that might be useful. I think that uh, you know, if you have a successful career in science, it's very satisfying because you, uh, you know, learn something that uh, no one knew before. And from that point on, people know about it. That's kind of the basis of uh, discovery. You don't discover things every day, that's for sure, but uh, when you do, it's a lot of fun. I'm Jim Peck. Thanks for being with us. And remember, Spartans will.